All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who does first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Pleasant Hill, California, USA. Presenting the challenger, Juggernaut. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing. Box. Good jab. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Big kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, a single collar tie there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses there with the left. Just unable to quite find that ring. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. He gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Throws the right hand there. Came of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night with that landing. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Take him down. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Wow. Huge oh, strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Oh, and potentially a critical takedown here. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Nice kick. Thirty seconds to go here. Oh. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Great punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. That is a stiff jab. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? You ready. Go. Second round underway. 
Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice leg kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Oh, big shot lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Three minutes to go in round two. Such a fast leg kick. Nice kick there by Lee. Slips the punch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Body kick. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. These passes did not. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slipped through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under a minute now to go. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he's up, but he is Oh, he has to see. You don't understand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, flush move to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. 10 minutes in the books.
him hard that last time. But that was his best shot. He took them no problem. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Massive head kick. We'll see what he can do. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just out of the range with that right hand. What a take out. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape in his very, very dangerous position. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Three minutes to go in round three. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side kick. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll leave a mark. Yes. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Relax, relax. Went for the inside leg. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotate head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of his position off the bottom. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head.
head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Straight punch lands. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice one-two there. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. Right. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the end. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Body kick now by the lead. And there comes the separation now. Oh! oh takes it over height. What a fantastic takedown. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet here. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of Better him than me. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Big kick land. And he continues to work the body here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, he goes to the ankle leg. pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked about the Anderson Silva situation. Good. <laughs> Slips. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Beautiful body kick. Back and forth we go. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice body. Switching stances here. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the back punch. taken for a right. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round getting underway here, and both Good fighters fight. still look pretty fresh Good. to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gym that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just missed with the left hand. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Out of range for that one. Got a serious right punch and he shot a double leg. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Gotta be careful, Armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Really remarkable to watch. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Back to his feet. Real steep body kick. Effective strike there by Lee. Just misses with the shot. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Oh, 
Big left. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice entry into the finish. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Well, he put so much stuff. Setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice punch by Lee. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen if you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC. I gotta check and say less. Don't you know everything lab now? If it ain't put it to press. 